is the modeling phase. The modeling phase uses behavior and workflow patterns to create domain and user models. This is where you're taking the information that you gathered in the research phase and you're putting it, you can say down in paper or down digitally, the old fashioned ways down in paper, to help you define who your users are. You're going to be creating these models of who your users are and models of what the domain is that they're going to be using your product in. So what are domain models? Information flow, workflow diagrams, things such as that. So that is something such as if I'm an accountant and I'm going to sit down and I'm going to engage in some sort of, um, I don't know, accounts payable, what is the workflow that I go through to accomplish that? That would be one of your domain models. Your user models are your personas. What these are are basically detailed composite archetypes. And they really help you represent very distinct groupings of users. You're looking at their behaviors, attitudes, aptitudes, goals, and motivations. Now there are a lot of uses for personas as we'll talk about after the midterm. But one of the things I want you to remember about personas is that they help provide an understanding of which tasks and which goals are truly important and why. Why are they important? That's also really, really important for you to understand to be able to design a good, robust, usable product. 